everybody, welcome back. This is part two <clears throat> of our loaded paper bags. So I think I would like to play around with some of these and make a little notepad to start. Now these again are my paper prints, just in, or my porch prints. <laughs> my porch prints in case you're wanting to um, to purchase these. I oh gosh, I should have known the kit, shouldn't I? Uh, I'll try to look that up, guys, because I, I can't... Oh, gosh, I've got so many of Stephanie's now. But these are just left over from projects that I've done in the past. <clears throat> and I just thought it'd be fun just to take a few of these and uh, create just a little notepad. So I've kept this extra little bit here so that I can make a hinge out of that. And then I've cut some paper here. This is like, I don't know, about two, two and a quarter by eight. And I'm just going to fold it in half. And I'm thinking, I'm just going to run that through the machine. And then that'll make a cute little, little notepad there. So let me just do that quickly, guys. <clears throat> Okay guys, what was supposed to be just a stepping away to the machine, it's like the kiss of death. Every time I say that, inevitably something goes wrong, so I've just had to stop. Uh, but we got there in the end, so all I did was just stitch a few little strips of paper just to give a tiny little notepad that's going to peek out here, and I'll probably add some lace to that a little bit later. Not right now. We're just right now. I just want to start getting um, little bits from my stash pile added to this. <clears throat> and I know I'm going to want to get some lace down here. Let's see. Yeah, let me go ahead and get this on. Okay, so we're just going to start going through now and adding some things from this, my scraps here and start filling it in. Those of you who've been following me a while, you know I've got we've got a dog Daisy, and um, I've talked about her quite a lot in the videos. But uh, we've 
<clears throat> you know, she's getting on up there. She's coming up on 14. And um, we've had to take her to the vet the other day. I'm just going to add these in and I'll come back and add some laces. Uh, we took her to the vet the other day, and, and uh, he thinks she's got a herniated disc, so she's been in a lot of pain, and he's had her on some pretty strong uh, painkillers, and it's it's worked wonders um, because the next step would be re referring her to a um, neurologist, and we really... We really just can't afford to go that route. So, um, as long as she's out of pain, it's okay. Um, and we're just hoping that um, that she'll continue to, um, you know, improve because he's got her on complete rest for a minimum of eight weeks. And um, he said at any point. If she starts to get worse <clears throat> or goes backwards, we have to get her in immediately. So, eh, you know, it's just, I think we're fast approaching that time, which really, really does make me very sad. But I'm, I don't want her to suffer. I definitely, we, neither of us want that. So, um, here's a little envelope. I'm going to cut this out and we'll get this ready. I cannot remember, I think this was just, ah, uh, I think this may have been a free from Graphics Fairy. I'm pretty sure this was part of the Graphics Fairy membership. Um, I had that for a while. I believe that's where I got this image from. So, <coughs> excuse me, let me just zoom out a bit. So yeah, we're just um, we're having to keep her locked into the kitchen downstairs so that she she can't move. She can't even go up a single step. Um, she can do it, but the doctor doesn't. The vet doesn't want her to, and it's it's very difficult to. Um, we Paul made her a couple of little ramps out out back because we've got. The step going out of the dining room and then there's a step to go up into the backyard it's just it's only about I don't know about a six inch step but the vet said he doesn't want her even even making a step that high so oh gosh it's hard it's hard to keep an eye on her and stop her from doing it because she doesn't like to use the ramp um, and then, of course, she's so accustomed to getting up on the sofa with us in the evening. Um, it's we have to catch her before she tries to jump up there. <laughs> but um, but she's doing good. Um, so you know we're we're really really grateful that um, these pills, the painkiller she's honored, it's it's done wonders. And unfortunately, it just makes her think that she's still capable of doing all these things. So it's kind of like having a child again. You're having to constantly watch her and make sure she's not doing more than she should be. But um, hopefully, you know, in time, it will heal is what is what we're hoping. So, <clears throat> yes, lots and lots and lots going on. Um, the garden is coming to a close now. I've got um, I've got to do a bit of a clean up. I'm hoping in the next week to get out there and start tidying it up and getting it all ready for autumn and winter. And uh, who knows? Who knows if we'll be here to do another one next year? I just don't know. I've really enjoyed working in it this summer, though. It's been nice to have the it's the first time in a very long time that Paul and I have had a um, a garden, a, you know, a small yard, and it's very small, but gosh, we're grateful for it.
it's always nice when I go back <clears throat> home to see my dad because he lives way out in the country and um, you forget what it's like to be that far away from people and not have to uh, constantly have people around you. So I always enjoy that when I go back. <clears throat> okay, we're, let's see what else we've got here. Here's some pretty big journal cards. I'll cut up a few of those. Again, this is Porch Prince. My porch prints. Probably while you guys, when you see this video, because um, <clears throat> I've been working really hard to try to get ahead on videos for you all because I um, have actually booked to go home. So <clears throat> the chances are when you see this, I will be in the USA um, with my family. It's, um, I just finally had to do it because, um, there's just too much uncertainty with, um, when things are going to open back up. So I just had to go ahead and go. So Paul is not going to be able to go with me, unfortunately, because the U.S. is closed to anyone from the U.K. Uh, so... It's, you know, it's a shame because Paul intended to come back. He's not been to see my family now for two years. Um, and he was planning to go back this time, but as I said, um, he can't. He just can't enter the country at the, at the time that I, I'm going back. So. so all I'm doing, guys, is just adding things here and there. Um, <clears throat> and then I'm going to come back. I want to get more laces into this and just see how much I can actually add to it before it gets too bulky because I know I want to add a small plain journal on the back there. So yes, I'm getting very excited. I can't wait to see everybody. Um, my son was going to join me in Florida, but work commitments <clears throat> came up, so he had to cancel his flight. So I'm going to go see my daughter and my dad, because they're about two and a half hours from each other. So I am going to see both of them, and then I'm going to be taking a flight to D.C. And I'll send, spend the, the, the last week of my trip, because I can only go for two weeks. Um, I just can't afford to stay, you know, longer than that, so... I'm going to go for two weeks, and I'll spend a week in Florida, and then a week in, in Washington, D.C., and I'm just hoping that I don't have any kind of um, problems up in D.C., because <clears throat> my son's outside of D.C., but if you guys have been following the news, you know there's all kinds of chaos going on. 
so I'm really hoping that um, he stays safe and uh, we don't have any issues while I'm there or when I'm gone. <laughs> I worry about that kid. Wow. Okay, I'm going to make a couple of envelopes with my envelope punch board. Let me pull this out and see what I can make. With the digitals, the largest I tend to do is the three and a half by five and a half. <clears throat> Actually, um, just wonder if I can. I'm gonna try to get the eight by eight. See if I can manage that. Right, sometimes it's not easy to get. Oh, I might be able to do it. Oh, that's great. So I'll end up with a three and a half by six by taking a eight by eight paper. Okay, and I'll keep that little bit of scrap. I'm sure I can do something with that in a bit. All right, so I'm going to go at three and an eighth. I go to D.C. Um, this will be my second time seeing my son up there. And, because uh, you know I was there last Christmas, so it's been almost a year. And I just um, don't tend to, <clears throat> I don't like to get out in D.C. very much. Oh, goodness. Because um, I get really nervous in city traffic. So, oh gosh, yeah, I've ha I'm having some issues with this thing getting hung up, guys, so I may have to shut the camera off and sort this out. Yeah, let me do that, guys, because I'm going to have to get that unlocked. I'll be right back. Okay, I managed to get it out. Gosh, what a drama. I'll have to run some uh, foil through that and try to sharpen that. So as I was saying, when I go to my son's, I don't tend to do a lot of running around. I'm super comfortable at home, you know, getting around because I know where everything is. But I haven't learned my way around the area he's in. But this trip might prove to be different because he's got to work while I'm there. He's just going to take a couple of days here and there. So I'm actually thinking what I might do is drop him at work because I don't want to be stuck sitting in the apartment all day. He's in a, a very small one-bedroom apartment. Um, and I, don't, I just don't want to be stuck there all day. And I've heard, and I hope I've written it down, last year I heard about a couple of really awesome places around um, his side of D.C. He's in McLean. So... I've heard about a couple of um, like big lot type stores, but they're local to Virginia or maybe even just that area. And I'm hoping I've written it down because I'd like to go out there and check out and see what they've got. All right, so I'm just going to tuck that in there. So that'll be another little place. Gosh, this is going to be absolutely full of things and then here I need to do some stuff I think I might try to make a couple of large journal cards let me just go ahead and make another envelope Well, I can do the envelope later because you don't want to sit and watch that. Let's just try to get 
I think a couple of large journal cards would be kind of cute tucked in that back one. I'm going to go ahead and make a very plain journal, guys, for this. Um, so let me get this measured, and I will get that stitched in. I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I have just made a very simple little scrap page journal. Now, I'll come back and do something probably a bit later with that. I'm just going to tuck that in there for now. I'm just trying to start seeing how much bulk I've got. I found some more just neutral things that I've printed off. I'm just going to start tucking these in. And then I can make the decision what else I'm going to need to fill this in because I want to make sure I get the the height right on the on these and I might come back and add a couple more tags. Um, this is a like the little mini file folders. This is uh, Musing by Nikki. She's on Etsy and she's got these little digitals that are lace and I just think they're a really nice neutral background. This is the kind of stuff I kind of I look for this really when I'm purchasing digitals um, because they can go with so many different things is what I like about them. This could easily be t adapted to vintage, shabby chic, <clears throat> new, uh, nature journals. So that's what I kind of look for when I'm actually making purchases. Um, so I am going to just tuck that in there and we'll come back and decorate that later. Okay, I think what I want to do now is I've found these and I'm I'm sure this was a freebie from someone. I just cannot remember who. And I thought it would be... <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me, guys. I thought it would be um, nice to go ahead and start adding a little bit of embellishment to this front. Okay, let me see what I've got. Let me grab some laces and Okay, I'm just going to get this butterfly cut out because I kind of think 
I'd like to make like a cluster up in this corner. I don't know about you guys, but when I've been away from my um, craft for a little while, and I have been for about a week now, do you find it hard to get back in to um, creating? I do, um, which is one of the reasons I don't really like to take breaks, because I find it almost impossible to get back into a, a groove. Um, I'm just curious if anybody else finds that. Okay, so I've got that. Um, just trying to think. I want to make a little bit of fabric with some scraps. Oh, I'll keep that out. I might use that in a bit. This is just some French receipt. I'm just going to take a little bit of that. And I don't know, that was laying there. I don't know. A little bit of fabric. Let me just see what I can come up with. This is some lace I've ordered. Um, it ended up, it's kind of that stretchy lace and I don't really like that. But I've got a lot of it here, so I'm going to try to see if I can use this somehow. And stitch that butterfly, I think, there. And then I want to, um, <laughs> let's hope I can do this quickly with the machine, guys. So the next thing I want to do is go ahead and I'm going to glue down one of these tiny little safety pins in the center there. If I've used this glue with the safety pin before, we'll give it a try. If it doesn't work, I'll come back and add some um, of the Fabri-Tac is what I normally stick under there. But I'm just going to leave that now, guys, to dry. And then that's going to go right there. Okay, so I'm going to stop at this point, guys, and um, gather everything up before we start to the next part. You can see it's starting to, um, to fill up, and then I've got that spot on the back as well. So, yeah, we've got a lot to do, so I'll be back soon with the next part. Take care, everybody. Bye!